Rubens tube is a long, narrow metal tube that consists of holes that are drilled along its length. So both sides of the tube are sealed, but there is attachment on one of the sides where you can add a gas source like propane. So as gas is being emitted from the holes in the tube, you can light it and flames will emerge from those holes. The Rubens tube is connected to a speaker which emits different frequencies and amplitudes and the flames will respond accordingly. Overall, the Rubens tube provides a visual representation of sound waves through changing air pressure which will result in either a tall or short flame being produced as they're emitted through the holes of the tube. So the speaker sends out sound waves, they bounce off the other end and come back. And when these waves interfere with each other, that's what sets up what's called the standing wave. And the standing wave is a pattern of nodes where nothing's happening and anti-nodes where there's a lot of action. If you analyze the pictures, you can hear the frequency and then you can get the wavelength of the sound. And if you multiply the frequency times the wavelength, you get the velocity of sound. So waves are important because they can carry energy. And if they can carry energy, they can carry information. It turns out with music, it actually makes it very easy to make the connection and to teach physics, and in fact, modern physics, because modern physics is basically wave theory.